Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, welcome back to the unit review series for Battlefields of Mana, folks. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Cross Bowman. So this is the next level up, the next stage up above archers in the ranged infantry series. So, crossbowmen. Here we have a unit of Lunar Knight crossbowmen. You can see that, obviously, with a crescent moon on the shield, the darker purplish-blue-black color scheme. Crossbow on the banner bearer to denote that's exactly what the unit is. Regal Guard crossbows look something like this. So they're a little brighter, more Renaissance color scheme. But of course, as always, stats are the same. So crossbows, what makes them better than archers as well? Well, I'll say better in some ways, not in every category. Also, this is the, if you're watching these in order, most expensive unit yet at three points. But let's, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's start at the top. Crossbowman, attack dice one. Once again, in range, you do get supporting attacks from the second rank. So every figure in this unit, when shooting, gets an attack die. So that's a maximum of six attack dice rolled for a ranged attack. In melee, it would only be a single die for the rank involved in the close combat attack. Combat strength, here's where it gets a little wonky. Plus one. Minus one in melee. What that means is when firing, they get a plus one to their attack dice. This is where crossbows excel above and beyond archers. Crossbows get a plus one to their attack dice when firing. However, just like archers, they are not meant to be in close combat. They get a minus one to all of their attack dice in melee. Now, their armor is once again one, so twos or better is all an opponent needs to roll in order to hit them. Defensive special disability is also just like for attacking, their minus one to their defense dice in melee. Range is eight, so here's where they actually suffer a little bit related to archers. Archers have a range of 12. Crossbows have a shorter range, but they pack a harder punch. Movement, four inches. Typical infantry movement, four inches per movement action. Of course, you can move up to twice in a turn for eight inches. Initiative bonus, plus one. So if you saw the peasant militia, they were initiative bonus of plus zero. So crossbows, even though they're not meant to be in close combat, uh, do have at least an initiative bonus of plus one when rolling to see who goes first in melee. Health two as per usual for infantry and cavalry, just, you know, actual soldier units. Uh, ability, again, more like a disability, move to fire. That means if they are stationary and shoot in a single turn, they don't suffer that penalty. But if they, as it says, move in order to fire, to maybe get a better position, get someone in range, they do suffer a negative one penalty to all of their attack dice. However, unlike the archers, where that can be pretty detrimental, crossbows, because of that combat strength of plus one, kind of negates the move to fire disability. So when they are moving and shooting, they cancel each other out and it's just a straight up attack roll. So that is what makes crossbows fantastic. So they're not hurt as bad if they're on the move. However, if they are stationary, they are deadly with that plus one. Which is why, which brings us to that last stat, the cost. Which is why they cost three points to include a unit of crossbowmen into your army. Three points is the most expensive unit we've seen so far, but as you will soon see if you keep watching the series, it is nowhere near 
the most expensive unit in the game, still a relatively reasonably priced unit, especially when you think you are shooting a third of the way across the battlefield on a two foot by two foot board with a plus one to all your attack dice. That's pretty darn good. All right, folks, that is going to wrap this one up. That has been our look at Cross Bowman in Battlefields of Mana. Thank you all so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And until next time.